Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode. So I'm out trying out a, a new set of pads, loosely based on the power knobs um, type setup, where you just have lower kind of rounded um, pads at the bottom of the front, as you can see here. They're 3D printed. Uh, they're not my design. I got them for the internet for about ten pounds for the files, and I printed them out on my 3D printer. Um, they're meant to, like I said, they're meant to resemble the power knobs type approach. They're quite big, but you can size them. Again, I've just printed them out at default to see what they were like. And um, this is the first um, first ride really with these. Now, um, it's my first ride in about a week. Um, I've been feeling really ill for the last week, so I haven't really been out riding. Um, and I've pre-printed these. I want to give them a go. So um, out on a nice autumn day, as you can see, a lot of the trees are starting to turn, which is it's just a really nice time to ride. And this is one of my local rides of about six miles um, that I do, it's all road riding. And um, it's just getting them into the right place. So they, they do feel comfortable. Um, they're, they're, they're printed um, using more of the hardened um, printing material, but it doesn't feel like that when you're, when you're leaning up against them. It does seem to give you a bit more freedom at the tops of your knees where you would normally push into pads um, when you use your kind of your feet and your ankles more than anything else and I'm not really leaning um, so much so we'll see how they how they go but um, they seem okay they don't seem to give me any more torque or power than uh, the, not the other pads were but they're certainly no, no less um, I'll link the description and where to get these these pads if you want to uh, get them. Um, as you can see here, they're positioned sort of low at the front. Now I have since had to move them uh, forward a little bit because whilst this was good for standing, sitting down I couldn't quite get my feet um, kind of or my knees down enough. Now whether that's because of the size, and actually maybe a smaller. Uh, the size would be helpful. I need to compare these to a friend of mine who's got the actual power knobs to see if maybe they just need to be sized down a bit, which you can do. Um, but they seem pretty good. They seem pretty um, sturdy. Um, they um, about took about four hours to, to, to print out and um, they seem to do the job. Um, okay, and one of the things I did notice and one of the things I was interested in is when you sit down on using these, on normal pads I tend to kind of flare my legs out a little bit which leads to a little bit less stable in my opinion whether it does or, or doesn't does for me these ones you tend to have your knees straight forward when you're when you're sitting down which I think is is, is better but I mean time will time will certainly tell um, so yeah um, it's pretty it's, it was pretty good um, pretty good ride on these like I said it's the first try I've been adjusting those up and down and back and forwards as well as the the rear pads as well just to try and get me in a position i'm comfortable with i don't generally have my feet really locked in and these ones are better kind of locked in uh, to bring your foot down so as you can see i'm just uh, readjusting my rear pad uh, just to be more around my ankle whereas before normally on the bigger pads i would have that up probably um further up in on my leg uh, which just makes again it gives you a bit more of a locked in uh, locked in feel I'm riding the Sherman S I still love this wheel um, it's just such a fantastic um, wheel it's talky it's fast it's got such a decent range on this um, I, I love it um, but yeah so I'm out cruising um, just trying these out I'll give you more of an update as I use these more in rides um, if you've got any questions let me know and uh, until next time, thanks for watching guys, bye.